This video is going to focus on how you actually turn on the nonprofit lingo in QuickBooks Online. And I'm creating this Plus subscription because you're going to use Plus because it has class and location tracking. So nonprofits are going to use that just for that reason, really. And because of they're all over the place, so they can log in, you know, QBO really works. However, during the first use experience, you don't actually have an industry type anymore. So you can't designate it as nonprofit. It's just kind of a general thing and where would you go to do that after the fact after you've created the subscription and you can do it after and I don't know of any time limit really that you couldn't even if you got a client that came to you that already had QBO plus you'd be able to do this in the settings but I'm creating you know like the audience which is typically going to be accountants at firms and you guys are using a QBA I'm just creating this file from QBA I'm not doing wholesale although that would be ideal I just don't happen to have it turned on you know so I'm gonna create this file and then we're going to go into it because, you know, there was no place that I could choose nonprofit at that point, right? So we just created this file. Let's launch it, and then you'll see the first use experience. Now, just so you know, your client would see this too if they were creating it through the web, like they went to quickbooks.intuit.com and signed up for QBO+. Plus. But this scenario is where, right, you know the client, so you're going to create the sub for them. And there's no entity field. There's just two windows now. So what's your business called? So you would, you know, enter the name there, but you probably already did. And then how long you've been in business, I'm just going to say, you know, three to four years. And I'm not really going to bring over from desktop, but that would be the option. You click next. And now, you know, invoicing is important. We're going to track expenses, no inventory though, or sales really. We're going to manage bills though, and sales tax, and I don't need to track time, but you would check these off and you click all set. And that's going to bring us into the actual QBO file itself. So we're in the file, right? I'll hide this for now. And it just looks like any others, customers, right? But I want my reports, instead of saying profit and loss, right? I want them to say statement of financial position, balance sheet has its own name, etc. So where you go is you go to the gear icon and then accountant settings. Now, we'll come back to this, but in the company setting, you have tax form and industry. Right? And this is where you can choose, you know, 990 and also... It, there's no drop down for this, but you could just do a search for either by N. It, there isn't anything specifically for nonprofit, and it's not in alphabetical order. I, I do hope we kind of make this more of a drop down list so you're not spending time trying to find, but I was unable to find really nonprofit itself. However, I did find this religious grant making, civic, professional, and similar organizations. This is the one that you want to choose. But before we even do that, and I'll come back to that, when you go to the advanced tab, just to change the language of the customers to donors, you scroll down, right? Because you can change the customer labels. Now watch what this does itself. I just change this to donors, and I click save. And we'll come back to that other thing that you'd, you'd want to do probably anyway. I'm just, this is more of a test for me as well. Now the reports are still the same. Okay, so I still have, when I go to all reports, business overview, I have profit and loss. It hasn't changed yet. I really need to choose that religious affiliation and the, and the civic and, and the profession of the, and the other. We'll go back there. But we're going to do it one at a time so you can see what, what turns it on or off. But donors is donors. So customers is now donors. You can create a new donor. And then when I actually go to the customers, it's still going to say invoice. And typically we want it to say, you know, pledge or something like that. So we're gonna go back to settings and do this in stages, but essentially there would be three areas that you would impact. Change customer label to donors, but you can do that last. I'm just doing it first, just for a test for me, really. This video is solving for two different points. And you're gonna to come to company and accountant settings, and I'm gonna choose 990. And then let's just do that one alone and see what that does. Go ahead and click save, right, and then click done. And then I like to refresh just to do the test. And then we're going to look at reports, you know, and, and look at some other lingo. Now, by changing to 990, even without choosing the actual industry type of the religious, civic, etc., when I hit a plus sign now, now it has a pledge, right? So, and then expenditure. So that's really helpful. And if I was to go over to transactions, I'd see expenditures here, you know, instead of expenses, right? And if I go to reports, my guess is, yeah, statement of activity, statement of financial position. So just the 990 form itself is what turns it. Now, one thing to note though, if they did it by mistake and they go in here and they say, oh wait, you know, I needed to be an 1120S and you click done and then refresh it, 
the reports will switch back to a P&L. So it's almost like you don't even want to choose the industry type. We'll go do that and see what happens. All right. But really just going to the setting, you want to call your customers donors. Now I could turn this back, right? In the settings, I could just change it to customers because your client might've made a mistake. Oh, I'm not really a nonprofit. I'm something else. But I mean, I think in most cases you guys are going to know, uh, and they're going to know they're a nonprofit. So this should be rare, but it happens. We get calls on it like, oh, they have a nonprofit language in QBO. How do we change it? So you would just go to gear icon account and settings and then uh, go into that company setting and change the tax form. And you don't really even need the industry type to do this at all, right? And then, of course, go to advanced and go under other preferences and customer labels where you change it. But I'm going to go back to the company setting, change this back to, actually, let's do this. Let's leave it here as the 1120S, which you wouldn't do this, but just for me. And we're going to look for the, is that an R? Again, we really need a alphabetical drop down. That would be awesome. And maybe even just a designation of nonprofit. <laughs> Here you go. Religious grant making, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click save just to see what this does, even though I have the wrong form. But this is just fun for me, and you can stop watching the video if you prefer at this point and you've lost interest. All good. Yeah, see? So the actual, the form... It's either one of those two fields, right? Now, if I change the, because now it says statement of activity and financial position. So if you go back to account and settings, and if I go back here and take this out, we'll leave it 1120S, click save, and then done. And then we'll refresh. Awesome. So you can always get back to the P&L and the, the normal stuff if you're not actually doing a, a 990 return and you're not a nonprofit. But for best practices, it doesn't really matter the industry type because either the form or that religious type there, civic, et cetera, is going to be, it's going to switch it to nonprofit type lingo for reports. The customer label is going to be in the advanced tab, which we know. But you might as well, if it if you know your client, you know they're a nonprofit, then what you're going to do is just come in here and you're going to choose 990. You just type in R and scroll down and you'll see religious grant making, civic professional and similar organizations, right? Save that. Then go to the advanced tab. Three steps, one, two, and three. Go into the customer label, choose donors. Save that. Let me refresh. Right. You'll have expenditures here under transactions. Under the plus sign, you'll have expenditure right? And then reports will reflect the actual uh, true language of what you'd call the P&L balance sheet. Now, what about the chart of accounts? Right now, no matter where you create QBO from, we're going to give you a five chart of accounts, okay? And they are going to be uncategorized asset, retained earnings, services, which is income, another income account, uncategorized, and then uncategorized expense. And those are the default because you figure you want to import your chart of accounts, which you can under the gear icon tools, import data. However, with the nonprofit designation that we went through, we actually give you, you know, about 10. And then I think it's really just uncategorized expenditure and categorized revenue as well. So we give you a few others. You can always edit these, right, to rename them, etc., or still import. Importing will just add to the list, but it's not the 30 or 40 before, so you have some control. Have a great day.